Hey guys, this is Arsenal Giants PS3, and this is episode 12 of our Super Liga Manager Mode. And uh, we're coming towards the end of the season here. This is our. These are some fixtures in April, basically. We're only going to play three, and it starts off at home to Manchester City, then we're at home to Santos, and then finally we are at home to Chelsea. We're at home in all of these games. It's pretty bizarre. Um, and as you can see in the league here, we are ninth. We are a point behind Tottenham and a point ahead of PSG. Uh, and for anyone interested, Barcelona lead the title. No surprises there. So we're playing at home against Manchester City, and look at that team. They've got Cristiano Ronaldo, Snyder, an array of talent in there, and then Alex Tishulu Nimli, or whatever his name is, uh, a young player for them, and uh, it's him that takes a spotlight uh, very early on. It's one of those goals where you just kind of come into terms with the game, and he just kind of darts ahead and scores. A very good goal from him. I'm not going to lie, it's a very good finish against Chesney. Uh, down low where the keeper can't get it, but we retaliate immediately. We play the ball into Sahako. A uh, good ball in there from Ramirez. He's had a great start, and Sarko with a great header. I haven't been that impressed with Sarko um, this season, but I mean, that, you know, that's a good intent here. But it's disappointing here from Gibbs. He hasn't got much stamina. He just lets Balotelli dart ahead of him or get ahead, and then Balotelli does finish well. Um, not gonna lie, and he then obviously boos our fans or shushes them or whatever. It is a good finish from him though. Uh, but we go into the second half. We looked like we were going to go into the second half 1-0 down, but then a good ball in here. Well played there from Javine. Just gets the knock on, and Benzema uh, scores another goal for us. He's been an influential signing, and that is a it's a very nice goal again. It's kind of like um, it is it is a kind of bicycle kick. I'm not sure how you put it, uh, but it did come down. But good work there from Javine to attack it. So we do uh, actually go in at 2-2, and um, it was well played. Uh, it was well played to just to get that last minute goal and then look at this Podolski just set through on goal a little bit of skill to beat uh, Joe Hart maybe I should have squared this one to be honest but he just creeps inside there uh, to give us a goal a great start a great start to the second half and uh, as you can see then Nasri just goes wide uh, Schneider here plays a lovely ball into Mari Balotelli a great first time touch and a good ball in and it is in fact Sami Nasri at the Emirates uh, he's going to celebrate, he doesn't care. Uh, he scores at the Emirates to make it 3-3. Um, this game was crazy, packed full of goals, just like the game at home against Barcelona. Uh, Benzema there with a half chance, not too much you can do, just put power on that and it goes in. And then the 69th minute, Mario Balotelli has a shot, it's not properly cleared, it's terrible touch there from Sanya, I do believe, um, and Nimli scores. And that was a frustrating goal because we did save the initial thing, it's a terrible touch there from, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's Sanya. So we go 4-3 down, which is frustrating. Here's a, just a long shot from Snyder there. Uh, and it was all Man City pressure, really, for the end of the game. Balotelli here, forcing a pretty good save there from Chesney, and then he kind of just kicked it out. Um, and I thought, you know, the game's over. We go on an attack here with Benzema. It's well defended. Anua's got him in his pocket, but then bang, Benzema. That's why he's been such a great signing. There was literally nothing on there. When I shot, you know, I just thought maybe we could get a corner, but he finds the right-hand side perfectly but Man City do retaliate Balotelli has a shot it's well headed away and oh, no, so poorly headed away well saved and then Snyder with a terrible finish there and we get a I'm gonna say well deserved point 4-4 against Manchester City is not too bad it's a it's a good point I suppose against um, I think the second oh no the third maybe I'm not sure but a team quite highly ranked as you saw there I'm pretty sure um, I think that was Wilshire is out for a while um, we're at home here though to Santos and obviously <clears throat> the main asset for Santos is Neymar. He's the one you've got to watch. And but they start off pretty well actually here through Ibsen. Um, I'm not too sure who this guy is. Goes on a nice little run here. It's a great save from Chesney. Just getting his foot out. We could, you know, if we go one 0 down. Normally when you go one 0 down on FIFA, it's very hard to claw it back. Alano though goes on a nice run. The Marlin just picks him up late on. But it's one of those penalties where you don't really know whether it's a penalty or not. And Neymar obviously dispatches it coolly. Good finish from him. It was frustrating because it's one of those ones where you don't really initiate a tackle. Uh, but Benzema here goes on a nice run and forces a good save. This is what Benzema's good at, just kind of making chances out of nothing. But Neymar plays in Henrique here. And another great save from Chesney and Neymar gets a follow-up. He finds Alano. Alano whips in a pretty nice ball eventually. And Neymar again forcing a save out of Chesney. Um, pretty frustrating but then Benzema this is what I want to say he just he's so such a good player he's a good dribbler he's got good strength and he's a good finisher and that he you know he showed all those traits there uh, to give us uh, well to put us back on level really um, but it's so 
it's so nice having a player like that you can just give the ball to. It's the same for Van Persie when you use him on FIFA. I mean, he's not quite as deadly, but it's good to have a player that can just really change the game. They almost get another goal, and again, it's a great save from Chesney. Had an absolute brilliant game. Uh, and the game, not the game, sorry, the half ended 1-1. Uh, and pretty much all thanks to <laughs> Vojtje Chesney that we kept it like that. Ben Zimmer plays in Robin Van Persie. He had a very, very, very quiet first half, but this is what's so good about him. There's literally nothing on there. It's on his right foot, but he finds a top right-hand side corner with no <laughs> no qualms. Perfect finish there. Good build-up play from Ericsson and Ben Zimmer as well, I think it was. Um, yeah, it's a nice pass from Ben Zimmer. But look at this, you know, the defender does... He does pretty much everything right. He's just about to tackle him, but Van Persie gets a, you know, literally rockets the shot. The second half, I'm not gonna lie, after that early goal was a bit boring, but Saka does his best to liven up with a terrible clearance here, and again it's Chesney with a great save. I thought that one might have been a penalty, but it wasn't. Um, then Henrique plays some lovely football here down the left hand side and plays in Borges or Borges, and again it's a great save and a good clearance actually there. Um, but we were so reliant on Chesney and the pressure from Santos was actually very impressive and look at this build up play here from that's just it's beautiful stuff and then they get the ball in um, now I don't think this is a great ball and how he gets that much header on it I do not know but Neymar there just gets the ball off the post uh, Chesney couldn't do anything about it it just bounced off the post perfectly for Neymar to finish it um, it's, I've had so many of those goals where it, <clears throat> it's a goal from nothing really and that's pretty much what that one is how a Brazilian gets that much power and placement on a header I'm not too sure we do you know the ball comes out and it's Ericsson with a volley it's a pretty poor one a volley kind of finesse thing uh, and the game ends 2-2 I was frustrated about that one to be honest because it again it was one of those goals we conceded one like that ANSI as well um, that just really frustrates you and takes two points off you pretty much. Uh, so we're going. I played the same team though against Chelsea for some reason. I thought you know maybe it could do, could do a bit better against Chelsea. Um, we lost two one at Stamford Bridge I think earlier on in the series. Uh, and I was uh, I was not expecting too much. Obviously Chelsea have Di Maria. Um, I think they got Di Maria and Kaká and stuff. They got a host of good players. But Van Persie, as you saw, they hit the post early on. Torres here goes for on goal and it's a pretty shoddy shot. Uh, Chesney has much improved, though, I'm not going to lie, since the start of the season. And then Benzema here, through on goal, a little bit of space, and you would have fancied him to finish that one. But again, great save from Czech. Um, Sturridge, who scored at the Stamford, Bri at Stamford Bridge, plays in Torres again. And uh, I don't know what Torres is trying to do there, but it's terrible, and he actually ends up on the floor. Uh, Di Maria has a lovely long shot. A big fan of Di Maria in both real life and FIFA. And that's a and you know again that just shows though how well Chesney's playing. Uh, Dean, uh, not Dean Maria, sorry. David Luiz takes two swipes at Podolski before we finally get a free kick. Um, a terrible tackle from Sideshow Bob. Uh, he gets booked as well. Uh, look at this. <laughs> he literally just tries to take a chunk out of Podolski. Bang. Um, and Podolski just lofts one in. And obviously at the back post, Robin van Persie. He scored one like that, I think, at Dortmund earlier on in the series. I'm not too sure. Um, but he scores to give us the lead with a header, something he's not exactly synonymous with. And it was a very strong header as well. Just finds a bottom right-hand side corner. Uh, checks the bottom left-hand side. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not check. It's Hugo Lloris. Um, <laughs> yeah, Hugo Lloris. I don't know why they sold check, but yeah. Uh, he just finds a bottom corner, and there's nothing Lloris can do about it. And we go in at the break 1-0. I don't know why Ramirez was looking pretty pissed off there. Maybe he wished he'd stayed at Chelsea. I don't know. No. Uh, Luis, though, goes down this left-hand side and puts in a perfect ball for Danny Sturridge. How he misses that, I do not know. On Ultimate Team, he seems to bang those goals in against me. Uh, a lovely bit of play here from Van Persie great save from Lloris, um, or Lloris, however you say it, uh, to just bat it away. Some nice build-up play here from Sturridge, finds Kekka, and again Chesney, uh, maybe he could have caught that one, but he seemed pretty pretty deadly um, in goal, uh, didn't seem to make any mistakes like he had been earlier in the season. Uh, and then we we get through on goal here with, uh, with Van Persie, and I should have really played that one across goal, and then we play it back to him, and he misses it. He's had a couple of misses like that in real life, uh, quite interesting. Ramirez plays in a ball over to over the top to Benzema uh, and it's a good shot from Benzema I think he pulls a hamstring there or something not too sure uh, but the game ends 1-0 and it's a vital three points for Arsenal absolutely vital um, purely because it's against uh, the team as you can see that that are in second place uh, brilliant win for us but we still remained in ninth um, Tottenham were the team above us PSG drops a couple of points uh, but to be honest we're, uh, the main focus isn't to go into Europe 
it's more to kind of just get a solid season then we'll see how it goes see if we want to continue the series or not not too sure uh, but yeah this is what the league looks like as you can see Barcelona are triumphing uh, Real Madrid a third Manchester United a fourth and City a fifth uh, I'm quite surprised with Inter they're doing pretty well uh, and pardon me. And this is the championship. A couple of you wanted to see the championship. This is it. We're just going to scroll to the top here. And as you can see at the top, Marseille. Um, I'm not too sure how many people have predicted that or whatever. Marseille are top with 93 points. Pretty pretty emphatic. Uh, Porto a second. Sevilla a third. Villarreal a fourth. Uh, Zenit a fifth. Napoli a sixth. Uh, Benfica a seventh. Uh, Valencia eighth. Lille ninth. And Roma tenth. Pretty impressive top four. I was quite surprised by Udinese. I don't think they've sold Di Natale, uh, but they're fifteenth. Um, what other surprises are there? PS PSV are doing pretty bad actually in eighteenth. I was quite surprised, but the Scottish clubs aren't doing too well. Newcastle aren't doing too well. I thought they'd done. They'd be doing much better than that. But obviously, Bar starts off as a seventy-nine, so um, that may may be one of the reasons. I'm not sure. Uh, Stuttgart are going down with Stoke. Uh, and Rangers, uh, not a great season for Rangers, 26 points on the board, and this is the other league, this is League One, and top of this one, I was shocked by this, Olympiakos, um, flying the flag for Greek football, Spartak Moscow are second, Sporting a third, Galatasaray fourth, and Corinthians from Brazil are fifth. Uh, Fulham are doing pretty well, that's quite cool to see Fulham doing well, Everton, Sunderland are both mid-table, QPR are 15th, uh, LA Galaxy are doing well, flying the flag for US football. Um, <laughs> Argentines are doing too well. Boca Juniors, uh, Hoffenheim there, Munchen Gladbach. That's quite surprising considering how do well they're doing in real life. Uh, Omri is not doing too well at Red Bulls, and Swansea are doing pretty bad as well. So guys, that's pretty much the episode. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the final episode of the series. I do believe. Uh, pretty sure that's it. Might be one more, but I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.